Okay, so what happens when an invoice is cancelled? So when an invoice is cancelled, order delivery invoice, in the original invoice, in terms of accounting, there is a customer debit. So the customer account is debited and the revenue account is credited. This is the typical invoice accounting. And when this invoice is cancelled with either a S1 or a S2, the accounts or the entry to these accounts are exactly reversed. So the customer is credited in this case and the revenue is debited. But this invoice is not deleted. It just stays there. Only thing is there will be one accounting document associated with it and nothing happens to that. There will be a new cancellation invoice created. So this is a new entry that gets created and it creates a new accounting entry which essentially nullifies these entries that the original invoice has created. Now what? What's the second effect? You need to be able to invoice it again, right? So maybe the first invoice was wrong, so you have cancelled it, which is good. Now you need to be able to invoice the original document again, which is either a delivery if it is a delivery relevant invoice or it could be an order in case it's a order relevant invoice either way if it the invoice is not cancelled these documents are not open for billing again meaning you cannot bill a delivery for example that's already built right makes sense if you already build it you don't need to bill it again and the system does not allow you to but since you've cancelled it, one of the side effects of this is to open this up for billing. How does it do it? It just changes the status to ready for billing. So when you go to VF01 or VF04, this document will now show up again as ready for billing. Same is the case with order relevant billing. If it is open, it will show up in VF04 or VF01 as relevant for billing. So these are the two effects of cancelling an invoice. The first effect is the cancellation invoice post absolutely nullifying entries or negating entries to the with reference to the original invoice. And the second effect is that it, it makes the preceding document, which is the source document for the original invoice, open up for billing again so that you can maybe do corrections to it or do whatever changes that are required and then post it to accounts again with the correct values.